Hello, hello. Can everybody hear me? Hello, teacher. Hey, Miguel. What's going on? How you doing? Hello, teacher. Back in action. Back in action. Are you ready? Yes, yes I am. All right. Uh, That's awesome. Give me just a second. I'm, I think some of the students are having problems. Tengo problemas para ingresar. Buenas noches. Tengo el mismo problema. Sin duda, hacer por la tormenta, Tiche. Estoy viviendo bastante aquí en la zona, de la, zona de, del oriente del país. Do you think so? It could be that. It could be that. Let's check. Let me see if I can help them out. Eh, ayer mandó... Eh, Flor en el grupo, ¿verdad? Aquí está. Intente con esto, por favor. Good evening, teacher. Por fin. Hello, hello. Good evening. How are you? Welcome, yeah. welcome. Hi, teacher. Pero tenía el mismo problema, teacher. Del registro. Creo que ha me... cambiado. Ha cambiado este, eh, la forma para ingresar porque a mí me estaba dando el mismo problema que ayer, pero... Okay. O sea, con, como lo había venido ingresando, ha cambiado. Porque hoy tengo que irme a la confirmación del correo y de, de ese enlace estoy ingresando. Ah, y antes de una sola vez me metía. Pues a, mí el correo, a mí el correo no me deja entrar, sino que ahí dice inicie sesión con Facebook. Solo ahí puedo entrar, por eso es que así me sale el nombre, no lo puedo poner completo. Ok, ok. Te les voy a avisar. Pero pensé que no iba a entrar, teacher, porque aquí en la casa de dos rayos me cayeron. Oh my God, really? Oh, horrible, hasta temblaron los vidrios, la casa. Nosotros con mi. Con, tengo dos niños. Los dos así saltan. Bien oh, feo, man. teacher, feo. Ok, that's crazy. Ok. Good evening, teacher. Hey, how you doing? Good evening. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, Elmer, can you tell me what information do you remember about yesterday's class? Yes, teacher. I remember yesterday talk about pollution. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what are some common problems? that we have in El Salvador in regards to pollution? What are some common problems that we have? Um, in, El Salvador, in El Salvador, uh, the problem is uh, there isn't enough forest. Uh, there are too many buses. Mm -hmm. uh, there are too many cars. Uh, mm, there isn't enough river. Um, I don't know, teacher, only that for me. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Ana Mendoza, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello, I good am evening. Fine. And you? Very good, very good. Right here, ready, ready, ready. How was your day? I, it was mm, interesting, I think. What did you do today? Well, today I went to the bank. To make life. <laughs> uh -huh. It was boring. Oh, that's no good. No, 
Mm. How long? Yes. How long did you wait in line? For how long? Like uh, twenty, like uh, one hour, I think. One, one hour. hour. Yes. Is it very boring? <laughs> wow, that's that's not good. That's not good. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started, guys. I would like for us to look at the first activity which is coming from section number 4.0. We're going to be looking at a video comparing the simple past with the simple present. Simple past versus the simple Hi, present. Everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about the kind of food that you've eaten and the restaurants. Can everybody hear? You'll also learn how to express past yes, experience. Yes, yes, teacher. For okay. example, you'll be able to ask and answer the following question. Have you ever eaten exotic food? Before I present the structure that we'll learn in this class, I would like for you to listen to an audio program. This audio program illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully as I'll ask you questions about the audio program at the end. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Let me present the structure now. I would like to start by presenting this concept to you. The first thing is that we use the simple past for completed events at a definite time in the past. In other words, things that you did and have completed. And we use the present perfect for events within a time period up to the present time. In other words, events that you started in the past and those have continued to the present and they're not complete yet. Now, what we're going to learn in today's lesson is how the two are related. First of all, I may ask you a question, such as the one that you see on the example. Have you ever eaten snails? And your answer may be, yes, I have. And when you continue to give more information about your answer, you're going to use the simple past. And you're not going to use the present perfect to continue on given more information because typically what you want to do is you want to express an experience that you had last week about that particular question right such as the example that we see there yes I have I tried them last month and I want you to notice the question towards the bottom it's no longer in the present perfect but it is now in the simple past and that's because we're asking questions about our um, past okay so, uh, who can tell me for what situation we use have you ever? When you give a recommendation. That is correct. When you are expressing, uh, cuando quieres quebrar el hielo, right? You can use uh, have you ever. Si yo te pregunto, por ejemplo, Angel, ¿alguna vez has visto un UFO? Have you ever seen a UFO? Angel, have you ever seen a UFO? No, I didn't. Okay, no, I didn't. O? Oh? No, I see it. Don't see it. No, no. No, I haven't. I haven't. Very good. No, I haven't. Excellent. All right, Angel, select somebody. Ana Mendoza. Ana Mendoza. Amy. Okay, Angel, ask Ana the question. 
Have you ever seen a UFO? UFO. No, UFO. UFO in Spanish, UFO English. Have you ever seen a UFO? No, I haven't. Okay, digamos que quiere decir que sí. ¿Cómo lo va a decir? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Good job. Um, Michelle. Uh -huh. Sorry, but just a tell we the we didn't finish a meter. I don't know if it is correct. Oh, uh, the midterm exam? Yes. Uh, does anybody need help with the midterm exam? Alguien necesita ayuda con el midterm exam? Yes, teacher. I I had a a problem in right. one in in one question. Okay, okay. What exercise? Experience. We're no longer asking questions about okay um, if you've ever eaten snails. Now the question is related to uh, the example that you see there. Uh, Carlos? Um, I don't remember. Let me see. I think it's um, in the four. A, B, C, D. D. I think it's D. D, okay. What number? Let me see the last one. The last one? Yes. Ah, no, 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 it's, it's, it isn't, it isn't, uh, I don't remember. Oh, let me see the, the uh, D, uh, the E, the next one. E? Uh, it's the last one. Um, in, in the number two. And the number three, pollution is much there to air. Uh, okay, it should be there is too much air pollution. That, that is the, the answer, right? That is correct. Let me let me write it. Let I me, sent me. it to the chat. Okay, teacher, okay. Okay. only that, thank you. Of course, my pleasure. Anybody else have another question in regards to the midterm exam? No, I don't have here. Hello, Elizabeth, repeat please, I can't I hear you. Hello. Hi. Todavía no voy por ahí. Okay, me puede decir por dónde va? Eh, voy por ¿Qué número es? Eh? What number? Eh, ahorita solo estamos tratando de apoyarles a todos para que ya hayan terminado de la 1 al 3 y del, del midterm al 4. Ajá. Ajá. Yeah. Elizabeth dice que necesita apoyo. Dígame, Elizabeth. Uh, eh, teacher, ay, pero es que no sé qué punto es y estoy desde el no puedo ver los ejercicios, pero habla de Send away, send away, and see, is is about the the AC. Is a hmm. For the context, we see a we see a section A listening. No, no es ese. Es más atrás en tu back. Okay. Uh, section three. Let me see. 
No, eso ya lo, ahí ya lo completé. Ok. Sí. Del tema de... Ya le voy a decir. Ok. Presión wish. No, that is complete. Uy, entonces yo ya pasé el 3. Eh, sí, el 3. eso es lo que queremos, que todos hayan terminado el 1, el 2, el 3 y el midterm. Ahí no he llegado. Eh, Ana Mendoza, ¿cree que me puede ayudar con Elizabeth? Yes, teacher. Ok, Elizabeth, yes. ¿cree que le puede escribir en uh, WhatsApp a Ana? Sí, teacher. Sí, ya okay. le escribí, lo que no le he dado la pregunta. <risa> <risa> Pero gracias por su atenta. Rainy, Elizabeth. Te... Rainy, Tomorrow Rainy. Tomorrow I will Rainy. be writing. Yes. Ok. Ok. Thank you. Yes. All right, let's move forward. ¿Algo otra pregunta antes que empecemos ya la sección 4? Any questions before we start section four? Teacher, can you pack? I'm sorry? Can you pack? Is it same way? Is there, teacher? Oh, this one? Sí, yes, same way, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. What is number one? Uh, I put invented the same way the HP. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, aquí, the second, the same way HP is, is number three, has four wheel, wheels and runs. Okay. In the electric. Okay. En esta me ya no seguí intentando. Cuando dice, is new transportation device? Fíjese, I, I put the first y me dio error. Ok, all right. It should be this one. Recharges in four to six hours. That's the answer. Ah, la tercera es. No, ya no. No, no es la tercera. Ah, second. Number three in the list. It's the second one. Mm -hmm. eh, number four. Is a full changing the battery for four four to six hours allows you to ride as many as sixteen kilometers. Kilometers okay. 10 miles. It's number three. Uh, the correct answer. That's correct. This one right here. Number four is three. Ah, pues en esa, en esa voy Okay. The same. Y por qué salió mal a esta, la dos. Ah, la dos es uno. Okay. okay, so number one, Dean Kamen invented the Segway HT. Segway, the HT. The Segway HT is cheaper than buying a car. Number three, the new transportation device recharges in four to six hours. The Segway HT could replace a bicycle. All right. Now let's go to section number four. Practice asking and answering questions in English 
using the right. present, present perfect and simple past tenses. In this lesson, English teacher Jose Zines explains when use simple past versus the present perfect tense depending on the time frame of the action. Practice asking questions in the present perfect using have you ever and describing your past experiences by responding in both the present perfect and the simple past. This lesson includes an English oral comprehension exercise. So, los vamos a poner en silencio para que no se escuche el ruido. Gracias. So here you're going to practice using, for example, have you ever, have you ever, uh, for example, have you ever eaten tacos? He did you eat tacos yesterday? Okay. ¿Quién me puede explicar la diferencia entre la estructura de have you ever eaten tacos? Y did you eat tacos yesterday? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Salido con Dios. Because when you use have, mm -hmm. I think that the present, but the verb, the verb, el verbo lo puso en el pasado. Ajá, uh -huh. en past participle. Un poco, un poco, un poco, un poco, un poco confuso. Y si tú es una cosa, es un poco confuso. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Es una explica, entonces... <laughs> ¿Alguien, quiere, ¿alguien más de, quiere, okay. quiere participar? Me, teacher. Ya. Yeah. Um, when you read, have you ever eaten tacos? You mean, eh, uh, uh, está suponiendo mm -hmm. que si ya comió. Or, mm -hmm. A invitation. Uh, as, uh, mm -hmm. You are asking if you eat mm -hmm. tacos. Okay, and okay. Did you eat tacos yesterday? Is you make an affirmation. Okay, okay, okay. Asking El the affirmation. Good, good. Elmer? Um, I think, teacher, uh, have you ever eaten tacos? The tie is in the finale. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. did you eat tacos yesterday? The tie is... Uh, Definido. Excellent. No Excellent. Correct. Elmer. That is correct. Cuando estamos usando el have you ever, we are talking about general time. Y did you eat tacos yesterday is specific time. Excellent. Correct, Elmer. <laughs> that is correct. Si yo pregunto, ¿alguna vez has comido tacos? ¿Alguna vez en tu vida? Have you ever eaten tacos? Right? It's general time. Pero, si yo digo, ¿comiste tacos ayer? Did you eat tacos yesterday? Here is specific time in the past. Specific time in the past. Here, general time in the past. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Let's continue with the video. Vamos a empezarlo de nuevo. Mm -hmm. We're going to start the video over one more time. 
I tried them last month. And the next questions will be related to that. Uh, give me one second. I'm going to refresh. Give me one second. I'm going to refresh the video. Ahí está. Ya me dio hambre. Talking about food, I got hungry. <laughs> All right, so todos entendemos el concepto entre el have you ever y el did. Yes. Did is a question. Have you ever is cuando tú dices. Ajá, es cuando nosotros decimos eh, alguna vez en tu vida, right? No tiempo específico, pero si usamos el did you. Ya estamos hablando de algo específico a un tiempo específico en el pasado. Por ejemplo, yo no, yo no puedo decir, eh, yes, I ate tacos yesterday eh, forever. No puedo decir eso. Right? No puedo decir eso. Porque forever ya es un tiempo general. So, yo tengo que decir ayer o antier o el sábado. Yes, I ate tacos Saturday. I ate tacos Sunday. Hasta was en miedo lo hago hablando de tacos. Mama Chus, where are you? <laughs> Las carnitas son buenas. No los conozco, la, la mamá Chus, porque está cerca de acá. Yeah. Ok, listen, please. Listen, please. Carnitas, mamá Chus, tacos de carne, queso frito. Oh. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about the kind of food that you've eaten and the restaurants that you've visited. You'll also learn how to express past experiences. For example, you'll be able to ask and answer the following question. Have you ever eaten exotic food? Before I present the structure that we'll learn in this class, I would like for you to listen to an audio program. This audio program illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully as I'll ask you questions about the audio program at the end. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Let me present the structure now. I would like to start by presenting this concept to you. The first thing is that we use the simple past for completed events at a definite time in the past. In other words, things that you did and have completed. And we use the present perfect for events within a time period up to the present time. In other words, events that you started in the past and those have continued to the present and they're not complete yet. Now, what we're going to learn in today's lesson is how the two are related. First of all, I may ask you a question, such as the one that you see on the example. Have you ever eaten snails? And your answer may be, yes, I have. And when you continue to give more information about your answer, you're going to use the simple past. And you're not going to use the present perfect to continue on given more information because typically what you want to do is you want to express an experience that you had last week about that particular question, right? Such as the example that we see there. Yes, I have. I tried them last month. And I want you to notice the question towards the bottom. It's no longer in the present perfect, but it is now in the simple past. And that's because we're asking questions about our um, past experience. We're no longer asking questions about 
um, if you've ever eaten snails. Now the question is related to uh, the example that you see there. I tried them last month. And the next questions will be related to that event. And so the answer to that is, yes, I did. And then you give more information. So they were delicious. And so we do the same thing uh, towards the left, towards, towards the right side of the example of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? We start off the question using the present perfect. And then you continue on and, and you give either a positive or a negative answer. And then in this case, it happens to be a negative answer. No, I haven't. Um, and then you might give more information, but I ate at a Thai restaurant last night, right? Um, and then the next questions that are followed here are in the simple past. Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. Now that we understand the concept on how this topic is used, what I would like to do now is I would like to explain how to form questions using the present perfect. And, um, and so let me do that at this time. First of all, uh, we should learn the following concept that we're going to use have. Have it's an auxiliary verb. And we're going to use have whenever I talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And then I will use has whenever I talk about the pronouns he, she, or it, or in other words, the third person, right? Um, and um, so having said this, what I would like to do now is I would like to present the structure on how to form those questions. Let me do that at this time. In order for us to form the questions, the first thing that we should include is an auxiliary have or has, as I mentioned, if we follow this rule, we learned that we're either going to use have if I talk about I, you, we, or they, and we use has whenever we talk about the third person. So in this case, um, we're going to use have, um, and then this follows the subject. Then this follows the word ever, and then the verb in its past participle form, and then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever eaten snails? And by the way, um, this word here is a frequency adverb, so sometimes you can remove it, um, and um, the question will still be correct. But in this case, we want to use it. Have you ever eaten snails? Um, and what I mentioned was that you can either answer this question with a positive response, such as yes, I have, or this could be a negative response, such as no, I haven't. And so just so that we can see clearly what's happening, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the colors at this time. All right, there we go. So have you ever eaten snails? And it's the same thing um, for our next question. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? So let's do that one as well. So I'm going to use have. This follows the subject. And then we're using the word ever. So we use the verb to be in this case in the past participle form. And then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? And then once again, the answer to that particular question can be, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. And what I would like for you to notice now is how we respond to that kind of question, right? I mentioned that we can either have a positive response to that question, either yes, I have, or no, I haven't. And then this next sentence, we're typically going to follow with a simple past statement. And the reason is because um, I'm going to talk about my experience in the past. So in this case, I'm going to say I tried them last month. So this statement here basically talks about that past experience that I had, which is related to this topic, right? So have you ever eaten snails? And my, my answer to that question is, yes, I have. I tried them last month, so I, I'm using the simple past. And um, now the next questions that you see there, which is what I mentioned earlier, are in the simple past. Did you like them? Now all the questions are related to this event that you see here, right? It's no longer this question that you're answering. You're answering the next question. 
I tried them last month. So you want more information about this event from last month. Did you like them? And as you can see the answer, yes, I did. They were delicious. And we can see the same example towards the right side of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? Well, the answer to that question is no, I haven't. But I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. The next question that is asked here has to do with this answer. I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. Oh, did you go alone? Um, this question refers to the person going to that Thai restaurant last night. And he answers, no, I went with some friends. So as you can see, we use a combination of both the present perfect and the simple past to talk about things that you either started in the past, continue to the present, and then when you want to go into talking about a past experience, that's when we use the simple past. So let's see if we can do a couple of more questions. Um, have you ever tried sushi? How would you respond to it? At this moment, does anybody have any questions uh, related to the examples or related to the grammar in the video at this moment? Any questions in regards to the video or this information that you have seen so far? In my case, no, teacher. Okay, thank you, Anna. Let's continue. that question well typically most people have so most people will say yes I have and so tell me about that experience okay so if you're gonna tell me about that experience then that's when we're, whenever we're gonna use the um, simple past so how would you tell me about that past experience well have you ever tried sushi yes I have I um, ate sushi last month oh sorry I ate sushi last month oh really and then whenever you start talking about that past experience the next questions that will follow will be in the simple past did you like did you like it now, how would you respond to that well you can you can respond to that by answering yes I did or no I didn't I thought it was great or I didn't like it and the last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer the following questions have you ever been to a picnic at the beach have you ever eaten Mexican food have you ever visited Europe have you ever eaten exotic food um, as you answer these questions what I would like for you to do is to answer the question with either yes I have and then I want you to tell me that past experience so similar to the examples that we see on the chart let's say the question is have you ever eaten Mexican food and let's say that your answer is yes I have then you will tell me where and how did you like it so as you can see what I'm trying to get to is that you give me your response and then you give me information about that particular past event and that's what I would like for you to do for all of those questions there at this moment does anybody have any questions in regard to the usage of have you ever Yes. Uh, when we when we say the answer the, the answer uh -huh. or have you ever we mm -hmm. need to include mm -hmm. more information with simple past. That is correct. If it is necessary or not. We can say only I have or have. Yes. For example, if you say 
Um, imagine you ask me, uh, Ruben, have you ever visited Surf Surf City? Right? You ask the question, hey, have you ever visited Surf City? And then I respond, yes, I have. And then you ask me, when did you go? And then I say, I went in the last vacation, vacation, in the last August vacation, last August, August vacation. And you ask me, what did you do? What did oops, in the last vacation? I went in the in the last August vacation. And then you say, um, what did you do? this. And I say, oh, I bought some clothes. Literalmente, compré un montón de ropa. I bought some clothes, pero ropa de playa. I bought some clothes. I compré ropa de, de zapatos de esos que venden ahí. Es los froggers or froggies or something like that. Eh, I bought, you know, you see, I bought some sandals. And I bought sunglasses. And, uh, I ate. I ate seafood. No, mariscada. I ate seafood. I swam in the beach. Oh. Uh, I, le pagué unos mariachis una hora. I, <laughs> I <laughs> listened. Yeah, I listened. To <laughs> mariachis for one hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So basically, algo así va la, la conversación, right? Is, yes, uh, but, my que, no, but my question is, if I can say yes, I have, and give more information, or I stop with only say I have. Oh, oh you know, you can give I more have, information. Yeah. Can yeah, I? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. But the another information with a, um, before the point mm -hmm. is, in a simple pass. Correct. Correct. Uh, excellent. Uh -huh. That's yeah. my question. Yes. Yes. Because if you say right here, for example, I went as simple past. Yo fui. Eh, oh. I bought. Yo compré. I ate. Yo so comí. I can say. I can say. Yes, I have. I ate seafood. That's right. Excellent. That's right. Thanks, teacher. That Thanks. is correct. That is correct. Good job. Thanks. Another question? Anybody? Does anybody oh. else have another question? No? Okay. Uh, what I would like for us to do now is we are going to practice asking and responding to questions uh, using have you ever. Okay. Give me just one moment. Hey, Ivan, let's, let's, the information que les mandé. Y aquí van las preguntas. From have you ever. Y we're going to put it over here. Voy a compartir para que puedan compartir su pantalla. Okay. 
We're going to practice in pairs conversation. Is everybody ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Ready? Let's go. Si tiene preguntas y necesita que ingrese a su sesión, hay un icono eh, en el grupo donde dice Ask for Help y a mí me avisa y yo puedo ingresar a su grupo. Ok. Let's go. Okay. Ustedes tres, Angel, Miguel, eh, Wendy, pueden trabajar en pareja si no quieren ingresar al grupo. Oh, yo, yo me quedé sin el internet y no logré ingresar. Oh, ok. Ah, pues ahorita lo ponemos en el 9 con, con Jenny y Maritza. Y veo que Wendy no entró. Vamos a poner a Blanca en el 7 con Cristian. Y Wendy a saber qué está haciendo. Oh, Wendy. Hola, Wendy. ¿Estás allí? Hola, hola, Wendy. ¿Me escuchas? Hola, Wendy. Hola, o con alguna persona especial, perdón. Es. Pero esa viene relacionada a la pregunta anterior. Uh, aquí no está Wendy, guys, pero creo que no le funciona el audio porque no, no responde. Ok, ok. Um, it's the other question, Jessica. Ah, I okay. think it's the other question. Okay. Uh, I am alone. And you? Forever alone. Forever alone. Forever alone. Forever Me happy. Too. Me too. Yes, I'm <laughs> Ya somos tres. Okay. Así uno Bien. hace lo que quiere, cuando quiere y nadie le dice nada. Dice nada. Happy life. Yes. Happy life. Si no nos pasa yes, la de yes, la Shakira. Yes. <risa> Como dice el meme, si engañaron a Shakira, ¿qué te espera a ti, vea? <risa> Okay. okay. Next question. Okay. Has um, any ever done a surprise party for you? Eh, dice alguna vez, Bing es el pasado, perdón, de mí. Dime las palabras que no las entiendo. Ever throw. What teacher? What is the mean throw? Throw. Has. 
anyone, anyone, anyone. Dice, creo que es que si alguien se ha, bueno, aquí dice tirado, pero es como que si alguien quizás se ha ofrecido o te ha dado alguna, alguna fiesta, alguna fiesta sorpresa para ti, creo. Ok. Tirado. Ok. Ok. okay. Uh, Uh, yes, uh, yes, and my birthday, uh, my sister and my cousin. Uh, okay, nice. And next question. Have you ever been a first fight? Ever been? been. Right. Uy, no leí bien. Alguien, no, que si has estado, digamos, en una pelea. Yeah. <laughs> <I think. laughs> yeah. ¿Alguna vez has estado en una pelea con alguien? No. No, I, I don't, ¿cómo se respondería que ver? I don't have. Gracias a Dios no soy pelonera. No. En el colegio. I haven't. No, I haven't. Sería verdad. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Um, you asked me. Okay. okay. Have you ever been on TV? No, I no, I haven't. I never. Okay. Um, have you have you ever been to a theater? Theater. Ah, también se puede decir teacher. Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia esa palabra? Theater. Theater. Como teatro, creo. Mm -hmm. No, I, no, I haven't. Okay. I, I never. Have, uh, have you ever broken a bone? Uh, oops. Next question. <laughs> ah, next. <laughs> have you ever <laughs> have you ever broken broken up with someone? Yes, I have. Yes, yeah. significa. Hi. Yo creo que todos. En <risa> alguna parte de su vida. Eh, okay. Have you ever called your boyfriend or girlfriend by the grown name? Grown. Yes, I have. <risa> He's grown. Yes, I have. I changed the, uh, his name. Como que se ha se equivocado del nombre, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. Have you ever called your girlfriend boyfriend honey? No, I, I haven't. Okay. Mm, Have you ever changed your appearance a lot in a short time? For example, hair, stain, hair color, or weight? Mm, yes, I have. I, I put my hair one time. How many? Okay. Yo creo que ever... ya ingresó Wendy otra vez. 
Yes. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Eh, texteo lanzado, tirado, sido o estado terminado. Ah, entonces que son solo escrito, puede. Entonces, Wendy. Si quiera, uh -huh. Las otras tal vez ella las responde. Um, le voy a preguntar a Wendy, tal vez contesta. Okay. Um, en el chat. Si escucha a Wendy, contestes en el chat. Oh, hola, Wendy. Ok. Te va a hacer una pregunta y contestarle en el chat. Um, have you ever cheated, cheated on an exam? Wendy. Have you ever cheated on an exam? No contesta. Ah, okay. Good. Um, have you ever cried in public and embarrassing yourself? Wendy, have you ever crying? Okay. Ha, next question, Wendy. Have you ever crying for no reason and I feel good because of it? Okay. Have you ever dated sometime? Um, have you ever dated a relative by accident? Have you ever dated uh, some from another race, culture, or religion? That's right. Have you ever dated a relative by act? Have you ever done something silly that wish you had not done? Okay, we finished, teacher. Um, estaba viendo que varios compañeros tienen eh, que no pueden entrar, pero bueno, al menos yo cuando entro, eh, es, tengo en la, la aplicación instalada y pongo el como la ID y después la contraseña y me deja entrar. A saber qué, mm. qué nos pasa, ¿verdad? En sí. celular cuesta más, es más fácil sí, en, la, la, en la computadora. Sí, porque sí. yo ayer traté por el celular y no pude, 
No puede. Solo hoy con la computadora. Ah. Y que como con el celular, si le da el link, antes le pedía que se registrara y le caía un correo, creo. Es más complicado, ¿verdad? Más largo. Uh -huh. Yes. Good night. Good night. All right, guys. We are finished for tonight. Uh, go ahead, yes. Nadia. Can you tell me what did you learn in today's class? I learned in this class we uh, we use have, has, and did. Mm -hmm. And um, is that new information, or did you know about this previously, or is the first time that you? heard about this? Um, no, it's not first time. Um, I, but, be, but I, I don't remember the details we used to have, has, and did. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, uh, we're finished for tonight. Please continue working on the platform and we will see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, Thank teacher. You for all. Good night, Good night teacher. teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night. Tomorrow, teacher. Tomorrow is yes, Friday. Friday. Tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow we have classes. Tomorrow really? we have class. Okay, okay. No problem, <laughs> teacher. Okay, <laughs> teacher. Good night. Thanks, teacher. Okay, bye. <laughs> Sorry. Bye, Cinder. Bye, take care.